Good morning. How are you today? My name is Dana Damara, and you have landed on Astrocast. This is your weekly forecast for January 16th through the 22nd. So I'm not going to lie, we have a very busy, fast moving, get prepared kind of week. If you remember in one of my last forecasts, I talked about the Gregorian calendar being our, our calendar that we celebrate in our society is the new year. However, at the end of this week, we actually have the new moon coming up. So we have a new moon in Aquarius at the end of the week. And two planets that have been in retrograde are now moving direct this week. So you may feel a quickening of energy as you progress throughout the week. But with Mercury, even though Mercury is stationing direct, it's still going to be in its shadow. So there's still an energy of rethinking, repurposing, reviewing, any kind of reword right? And the last two themes have been about letting go and cleansing and being discerning. And I still believe that the theme of the year is discernment. Because as we move into the sun in Aquarius, and as we move into this year, and I'll talk about that in a second, energy will begin to quicken. And, and I've been saying this in class this whole previous week, things aren't going to slow down. So those of you who say things like, well, when life slows down, I'll blah, blah, blah. You're going to be waiting for a very long time. Things are only going to move quicker. We're moving into full on Aquarius energy. And that's an air sign. And it's all about the bigger picture, humanitarianism, being altruistic, right? So just keep that in mind as I go through this. So I'm going to just go through uh, day by day. Okay, so day by day. Um, so Wednesday, we have uh, uh, Mercury stationing direct. Now, remember that when Merc when any planet stations direct, we have um, the planet seemingly stand still, and then it will start to move in the other direction. It'll start to go direct again instead of being in retrograde. Now, when this happens, there's a shift, there's a feeling, you know, that feeling like just before you maybe decide to make a different decision or you have a flash of insight, there's this little bit of tension. That's what happens when the planets start to go direct. So when the planet, when Mercury stations direct, Maybe all of the things that you have been ruminating on, reviewing, processing, cleansing, purging, it's almost like everything from the back seat of the car comes up into the front if you slam on the brakes, right? So still allow things to settle, allow things to settle, get a little bit of, a little bit more clarity if you need more clarity. Um, don't start new projects right away. That's just my invitation. Hold that sense of... Um, ingenuity, uniqueness, flashes of insight deep in the heart, and just just hang tight for a second. Um, the sun will conjunct Pluto uh, this week as well, and it's in the sign of Capricorn. Now, Pluto's been in Capricorn since 2008. Pluto is all about deep transformation. So when the sun conjuncts Pluto, it amplifies this energy of rebirth, transformation, shifting, that kind of thing, right? Now this year, Pluto is going to move into Aquarius, but it's not going to stay in Aquarius because Pluto goes retrograde. So Pluto will go into Aquarius and out of Aquarius and into Aquarius and out of Aquarius all the way through 2025. That means the sun and Pluto will conjunct each other a few more times. So pay attention to energy that's uh, happening in your life that's offering you opportunity for deep transformation. And I would say, look in the places where it feels uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, Thursday, the moon's going to move into uh, Capricorn. Uh, that's, it's a big deal when the moon changes, changes, changes signs. So when the moon moves into Capricorn, just know that 
you know, Capricorn is all about responsibility and discipline and productivity, but the moon's going to bring some emotional aspect into that. Um, Friday, the sun is going to move into Aquarius. So this is that energy I'm telling you about. It's that energy where we've got that quickening, that that air feeling, that feeling of speed, okay? Um, when the sun moves into Aquarius, we're going to feel potentially um, um, a, um, a push for us to speak our truth, to um, act from a place of authenticity, to really look at those things that we've been ruminating about, uh, those revolutionary ideas or of uh, again flashes of insight now will be the time to start to take those steps to kind of move into that okay um this is just when the sun moves into aquarius keep in mind this is friday okay now saturday <clears throat> excuse me we have the new moon in aquarius so that means the moon moves out of capricorn into aquarius and sits with the sun okay so those days leading up to a new moon Okay, the days leading up to it, two, three days, are the strongest. Isn't it funny that that happens to be right around when Mercury stations direct? So this energy of rethinking, revisiting, just sitting, being still is very, very, very palpable. Because when that new moon comes on Saturday, it's a perfect time for manifestation. It's the perfect time for you to clear off your altar and create a new one. It's a perfect time to say, okay, I've been sitting with these ideas and now's the time for me to start pushing them through into whatever modality that is for you. You know, it can be something very big. It can be something very small. It can be just a shift in the way you think or a new habit or a new way of doing things. Um, so the new moon is, is, is beautiful. It's a perfect day for ritual work, for cleansing, for manifesting and you know those of you that listen to me for a while you know you know that I'm not a huge fan of this idea of manifestation it's always a co-manifesting we're always co-manifesting with the divine um and then Sunday Uranus stations direct okay so after Sunday all the planets will be direct okay and that will be all the way through May so that means that if you're standing on a wobbly foundation, okay, you will move forward with a wobbly energy. So you have this um, energy that's wanting to push you forward. We're coming into the Aquarian age. We're moving into swiftness. Get grounded. Be grounded. Continue those processes you've set forth in, in you know, cleansing and clearing and purging and um, self-inquiry. I've had so many insights the past two weeks just because I've really made that, that um, um, effort and discipline in meditation and pausing and act, asking, you know, asking the questions. So take this week to rethink, revisit anything that um, you want to move forward into. Ask yourself, is this an ego-driven thing or is this a soul-driven thing, right? And then allow yourself to be carried into the next thing, whatever the next thing is. It can be just a new thought. It doesn't need to be a shift of where you live or a 180 degree turn in your life. It doesn't have to be that. It can be a five degree turn in the way that you shift your thinking. Okay. So this is a big week. I invite you to stay grounded. I invite you to uh, stay disciplined in those practices, right? You also have the Chinese new year. So this is, this is that energy that we've been kind of moving, amping up for. So I hope you have a beautiful week. If you want more information or if you want to understand kind of where your chart sits in all of this, go to myastrocast.com. And if you put in your email, you'll get several emails from me just telling you how to find your uh, natal chart online and, you know, not how to read it necessarily, but maybe how to decipher it so it doesn't uh, look like all Greek to you. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you have a beautiful day and um, we'll see you on the new moon. Take care.